This is four weeks, baby. Look at these curls. Welcome to my channel. This video is all about how to maintain your crochet looking like this for the longest time. I'm going to talk about the products that I've used, the challenges that I have faced and the successes that I've had. But before we even start that, I just want to spend a moment thinking about why people actually buy human hair crochet because to me, it seems like there is some strange expectations, especially because the majority of us are used to synthetic hair. Human hair is versatile and there's just that wonder that actually, yes, it's natural hair. Like, who wouldn't want natural hair? However, I've heard things like, oh, well, if I have human hair, I can then go into the water and it's waterproof. I mean, waterproof? That's a stretch. <laughs> Have you ever seen any Caucasian who goes into the water and their hair is not impacted? Well, and I think there's also the expectation because we've all seen those scenes, you know, a beautiful girl comes out of the water and the hair is just oh, absolutely gorgeous, you know, it's dripping and it looks divine. <clears throat> well, is that realistic? Seriously? No. If you submerge your hair into water there are two things one needs to consider number one there is the hair which responds pretty well to water generally if you look at Caucasian people who come out the water their hair doesn't snap back into these wonderful curls that they had before they need to do something in order for that to happen then there's another factor which is absolutely fundamental to remember is that underneath this beautiful hair we also have our own afro hair do you really want to be getting that soaked in salt water or chlorine i don't know so rather than thinking that i'm buying human hair so i can go and get it submerged in water put a swimming cap on the great thing about human hair is that it actually doesn't have that density that synthetic hair does so it will pack away quite flat you will probably get it under a cap. The other false idea that people might have is that you can install the hair and then it will stay like this for a long time. Well, you ask any Caucasian person how often they have to wash their hair. And they'll tell you that they're washing their hair maybe every day, some twice a week, some more often, some less often. The fact is, hair needs to be maintained human hair needs to be maintained if you just leave it to itself it will dry out and look shabby and break that's just real hair for you so don't be under some strange illusion that you can just install the cream and hair crochet and then do nothing to it and it's going to stay like this for the longest time and it's going to last a long time if you want that buy synthetic because then you're going to put it on your head you're not going to look after it and you're going to cut it out and it's going to cost you a lot less if however you want to have gorgeous locks that are versatile supple curls that are well defined natural hair in its bestest glory then keep watching this video to see how to maintain your human hair crochet I have had this hair in for about four weeks. I have done a full wash of the hair and I have done daily maintenance. Now, there is a maintenance schedule on the Wigit website and I actually pretty much followed that. But I also wanted to try products that were perhaps not just for wigs and extensions. And 
I had such a varied result. So I really want to give you the fruits of my trial and error and then you can just take what you want. Hopefully I can give you a good idea as to things that work and things that don't work. You'll know from my channel that I generally wear synthetic hair and I tend to abuse my synthetic hair so I don't wear silk bonnets and scarves and satin, sleep on satin pillows and things and I try to do that with this hair. So I did, I just sort of just slept on it and I found that by doing that as time passed the hair got frizzier and frizzier and it got dry. I was maintaining it every day. In the morning I would get up, I would apply water to it and I did try a wig mist by Aesthetica but I found that that didn't tame the frizziness very well and it didn't define the curls very well. I'm sure it's very good for other things but it wasn't good for this. However, in the end I did try the Got To Be Oilicious with Argan Oil and it is actually intended for daily use and that was great because it didn't weigh down the hair, it just sort of tamed that frizz and it revitalized the curls. I highly recommend it if you want to maintain. Just applying water and using that, it was really simple. As time progressed, the hair was beginning a little bit dry. So I thought, right, I need to wash my scalp because if you remember when I was installing, I had that patch of dry scalp there. And so I thought this is an excellent opportunity just to refresh the curls. So after a couple of weeks, I washed the hair. Well, that was interesting. Now, because I wanted to look after our God-given hair, I wanted to find a product that would supply enough hydration to my scalp and my own hair whilst at the same time being mild enough for the extensions. So it really was a tall order. After lots of research I decided to go with Curlsmith because they went on and on about how they can define the curls and that it was natural and so on and so forth. And the products that I used are the following. They're wash, scrub, and detox probiotic. The postbiotic calming conditioner. I also used only on my scalp the curl conditioning oiling cream. And I chose this one because I really wanted to find something that would nourish my own hair. I put in some Miracle Shield because I wasn't sure whether I was going to dry the hair using a dryer. Then I chose to use the Featherlight Protein Cream. I got these products from Amazon and I will leave links below just in case you want to get any yourself. Now the wash and scrub, I don't know, uh, I had to literally wash my hair four times and use a lot of product to get my hair clean. It didn't lather a lot. Yes, it did leave my scalp clean. I just don't know if it's cost effective because I had to use a lot of product and they do have a step beforehand. So they have a product like they call a primer product before you use the switch to step two, which is a wash and scrub detox probiotic. But I'm thinking to myself, these products aren't cheap. How many products do I need just to shampoo my hair? So it was nice, but not sure about that. The postbiotic calming conditioner was really, really, really good. A little bit went a long way and I could feel the tingling in my scalp and my scalp felt really good afterwards. The curl conditioning oil cream for a leave-in conditioner that is not principally directed for Afro hair, that is lightweight. I was so impressed, so impressed. Let me just say that again. I was so impressed because my scalp was hydrated, very, very, very slightly oiled, but I didn't need to use any other product on my scalp, like, you know, additional butters, creams or anything else on my scalp. No itching, no dryness, nothing. This is definitely a good leave-in conditioner even for when you're not going to have extensions in, you might want to consider this. The Featherlight Protein Cream, which is supposed to give you sort of like a 
medium flexible hold as a styler. I was not impressed by it, but I think that's because I didn't do the right things because I learned with time what I needed to do with the hair and I didn't follow all the instructions. So I think I have to give this a go again before I can sort of say I don't want to use it. This was the hair on the same day it was washed and left to air dry. Can you see I've got quite a bit of frizz? So yeah, I have got nice curls, but there was far too much frizz. So I will try this uh, product again. One thing I have to say about the Curlsmith product was my skin felt like velvet for at least a couple of days after using it. Whatever is in their products did absolute wonders for my skin. So clearly they are high quality products and you just sort of need to use the right one at the right time. Personally, I would not recommend a diffuser. I was battling a little bit with the frizzing and I was like, ah. Oh. Originally, I was going for things that were super lightweight. As time passed, I was like, maybe I need something a little bit more heavyweight. So I went out and bought two products, the Twisted Sister 30 Second Curl Spray and the Frizz Ease Weightless Wonder Featherlight Smoothing Cream for frizzy fine hair infused with aloe oil. Frida, I didn't find that that did anything for my hair at all. This Twisted Sister spray worked well, but it was a bit heavy and it left the hair greasy. So I began to wonder whether actually the hair doesn't go back to what it was. In fact, I was so concerned that I actually took one hair out of my head and I did an experiment with it just using the detangling spray. Have a look. Is there a product out there that can give me these defined curls? Ah, there is, and there is a method. So let me talk you through that method, which I did today. The first thing that you need to decide is how defined do I want my curls? And I wanted my curls to be as defined as they were originally. So what did that mean? It meant that I needed something that was gonna be not light weight but more medium hold not too heavy because obviously i don't want to, the hair to feel greasy or to get flat i didn't have to wash the hair again all i needed to do was to divide the hair into sections and then i went back to basics i wet the hair and put a detangling spray that is made all wigs and extensions and i took each strand of hair and i went along the hair and i detangled it if necessary so some of them were okay, but some of them have sort of got a little bit out of line. You don't need to use a brush, really. You can do this with your fingers. And the reason why it's better to do it with your fingers is because if you get a knot or anything, you can just de-knot it without tugging, without pulling, without losing hair unnecessarily. So you can actually do all this work with your fingers. But you can also use a brush if you really want to. This hair is two months old and I thought you might like to see what it looks like when you don't apply the products to single strands but you just use a brush to detangle. These are the curls. You can see that the hair is looking really, really good. 
I cannot stress this enough, if you are going to brush the hair, you can take the whole section and you use this type of brush, this brush. This is the ultimate finishing tool by Tangle Teaser. I will leave a link in the description box below. And this is a smoothing brush and detangler at the same time. Start from the tips of the hair and you work really gently and you can go right up to the roots of the hair. One thing you'll see is that I brush the hair against my hand. This stops any tugging on the actual strands itself whilst they're tangling. And then make sure the hair is sufficiently wet and then you're going to apply your styler. And the one that I found that gave me these really lovely defined waves is the Umberto Giannini Boho Beach Jelly Coconut Oil Scrunching Jelly. And it does say shiny, frizz-free curls and wave with nourishing coconut oil and color protecting UV filters. I chose this specifically because it mentioned colour protecting UV filters. The hair that I have has obviously been bleached, it was naturally a dark colour and has been taken up to this light colour, so whatever you use does need to not be harsh to blondes. It also means that this hair is going to be essentially drier than if I'd just taken the natural. Do bear that in mind. If the hair has been bleached, or dyed a different colour, the, the amount of maintenance and work is more than if you just take the natural. So I took this from the, the root to the tips and make sure you do the tips otherwise you're going to end up with frizz at the end. And I went through and I just literally ran it through my hand, I spread it on my hands, ran the hair through my hands and did that for every lock. You might think, oh it's going to take a long time. It didn't take a long time and I know that I won't have to do that for a while because the hair has been restored to its original condition and boy am I pleased. So don't worry too much if the hair gets frizzy provided you haven't sort of applied heat and fundamentally changed that curl it will get back to where it was supposed to be. I have got other products that I'm going to try. For example, I have the Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly Refresh, Curl Reviving Spray, which is supposed to act a little bit like the Twisted Sister, so I'm going to see if that works. And I've also got a mousse by SGX NYC, and I'm going to see if that works. So I've got these additional products to try. And what I'll do rather than doing another video is just let you know if, if I find something good, I will put it in the description box below and put a link to the product. So just keep an eye on this video because I will update it as I find products that are particularly useful for this hair. His hair is two and a half months old. This morning I applied that mousse that I've just spoken about. It took literally just five minutes and I must say, pretty impressed with the curls that it has given me and the definition that it's given me. Um, possibly the only thing I'd have to say against it is that the curls are slightly crunchy, slightly crunchy, but generally speaking, definitely would recommend it. In summary, how to maintain your hair on a daily basis. Water, oilicious oil mist spray or the equivalent and then I'd say once a week, once every 10 days, you tangle and restore all the curls and then whenever you fancy you'll be washing your hair. It will depend on your activity, what you're doing or if you're going into water constantly. <laughs> well you'll be washing it more often then won't you? use a silk bonnet or silk scarf or satin pillow. Just keep those curls from getting ruffled in the night. Hopefully I'll be able to make a third and final video, I'm not entirely sure yet, when I am going to restyle the hair. Thank you for watching this video. Please do like, 
subscribe and I will see you on my next video. Ciao!